Hey guys, it's Tuesday afternoon. The Larry Biker is out and about for his afternoon constitutional. And what a glorious, beautiful afternoon. Lovely sunshine. Tiny bit nippy, but who cares? Still in no gloves mode. It's glorious, so hoping to top up the vitamin D. Get the endorphins buzzing around my body. And uh, with a bit of luck, burn off enough calories to earn myself a beer later as well. That would be right. Right cool, that would. Um, simple thing this week. I don't know about all of you, but I have a limited amount of energy. And uh, I like to try to use my energy wisely. Not the kind of energy you use cycling. I mean mental, emotional energy. The kind of energy that you use being sad, the kind of energy that you use being happy, the kind of energy that you use being angry. I've got a limited amount of that. And unless you have unlimited quantities of that kind of energy, it's a really good idea to only use that energy in ways that are going to make you feel better, that are going to benefit you in your life. And it's really come across to me, I've had several examples this last week or so of people who use so much energy being angry with people, being angry with people who've done the stuff to them in the past, being upset with people who've said something they don't agree with. And people falling out, and a good example this weekend of people falling out who previously kind of liked each other but something happens someone or something snaps and a big row ensues and you decide you don't like that person after all having liked them for several years they say one thing that you don't agree with and you feel obliged to go off them or ostracize them or never talk to them anymore and a really good example at the moment is the way that the media I don't I'm not one of those people who blame the media for all sorts of stuff that's going wrong in the world, but the BBC and some newspapers would have you believe that because David Cameron and Boris Johnson don't agree on the EU, they can't be friends. They can't go to each other's houses for dinner. You know, they can't talk to each other. You've got two separate camps who have to hate each other. And I've always believed fervently, and I wrote in newsletter last week about my hatred of this idea that if you disagree with someone you have to hate them bizarre lots and lots and lots of people in fact 99.5 percent of people in the universe disagree with me i don't have the energy to hate them all and it's the 0.5 percent of people who don't disagree with me who i'm interested in helping So my message this week is if you have one of those people in your life who you feel obliged to be angry with, to be cross with, to be constantly at, this is one of my get over yourself moments. Get over yourself. Just don't let that anger eat away at you. And use that energy to do something positive in your life. So don't waste any time or any energy being cross with people. Use that time and that energy to do some of the shit that needs doing in your life that you're neglecting because you're so busy being cross and angry and furious and resentful. And you're spending so much time telling all your friends that that person is nasty when what you could be doing is telling your friends how amazing they are and how important they are in your life. So that's the only message today, because it's something that's become very apparent to me in the last few days. Don't waste energy being cross and angry with people. You can either allow them into your life or not allow them into your life, but don't allow them into your life and then waste energy being angry with them. Not worth it. And you'll be unhappy, they'll be unhappy. Save your energy is my message for today. And use that energy 
to concentrate on some of your own stuff and get some of your own stuff sorted. So the same message again as last week, just think about one thing that you can do differently this week that will make your week turn out differently to the way it turned out last week. Just one thing. So use that negative energy you've been wasting on all that hate and all that anger and all that resentment that's somehow taken control of you and redirect it to doing something positive to make your week better, all right? A little bit of advice from the Larry Biker. And whether you disagree, agree, hate me, love me, don't forget to comment. Comment on, on Facebook, on YouTube. Tell me you love me, tell me you hate me, tell me you never want to see me again. Tell me you want me to come around your house and sort your life out. I'll do that for you. But do comment, because it's important to me. And I am starting to talk about things that people have asked me to talk about, which is really nice, actually. And uh, that's all, really. Save your energy. Don't waste energy on meanness and nastiness and anger and crossness and resentment. Take that energy and put it towards something useful. Okay? Understand? So this is the Larry Biker signing off on a Tuesday afternoon. Haven't burned enough calories to have that beer, so I'll be dry tonight. And I'll speak to you very soon. Don't forget to comment on, uh, on Facebook, on YouTube. Let me know what you think, good or bad. I don't mind, I've got broad shoulders and very cold hands. The Larry Biker signing off. Love you loads, see you soon.